that's it. That's the intro. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys my personal setups for my loyalty level two trader M4, as well as loyalty level three, and then the meta that a lot of people are using for their M4s. But this M4 right here, the only thing you can really change at loyalty level two is the stock and uh, the mount and then or sorry not the mount the actual um hand guard and then of the, the foregrip so obviously the hand card is going to be a knight's armament uh kac with a rk4 the biggest thing about this is that the the rk4 is actually a recoil control or grip so that'll actually help with recoil control as well as the sop mod here will also help with recoil but if you're still at loyalty level two and you want to focus more on ergonomics you can put the rk6 on and the rk6 is going to be doing ergo for that loyalty level two m4a1 rather than again the rk4 is going to be doing a little bit of ergo but you know a little bit of recoil control as well and the uh, rk6 is not doing any recoil control just ergo so you'll aim faster with this obviously the shorter the barrel the quicker it's going to be ready but you can aim quicker if you have the r6 the rk4 is going to make it so that you have less recoil it's not really going to be too noticeable but it'll help and you can kind of put whatever scope you want on it i usually use the mrs site but that's just all of this that is on this gun is all level three tier three items minus the monstrum site which i'm kind of including as tier three because you do need to unlock that trader granted yes the m4a1 is a peacekeeper gun but the monstrum takes longer than peacekeeper to actually unlock so that's why i'm kind of including it on my level three build but this build right here is going to give you the highest recoil control on the level three so what i'm using is the fab defense as my stock i'm using the uh over mold rubber grip uh, on the pistol grip and i am using the rk1 as my foregrip now personally i do enjoy the the d ball because it's an ir i uh sight slash flashlight so it definitely helps with having um no laser so and then what i do and you can do this on the level two as well as i put an nc star and put a canted sight on it because you can get that quick ergo the only thing that would make this any better right now ergo wise would be to switch it out for an afg fg so and that'd be that the mag pool and that essentially would make it so it had higher ergo and would aim down sight quicker but remember with any of these builds you always want the shortest possible barrel that you can get so Technically speaking, we can make this barrel even shorter. I think it's this one. Yeah. So we can make this barrel super short and, and turn the Orgo way up. So with with level three, you cannot use the jailbreak. So but you know the shorter barrel definitely makes it so that you're getting that high ergo. And then we're gonna go ahead and show what the actual meta is for the short and long bail variants of the M4. So for me, this is probably the best meta longer range. This is the bigger meta M4, as this is definitely high ergo. And we use quite a few things here, but this is a suppressed version. You don't necessarily need to suppress it. You can use a different version, but 
I always, again, use the Monstrum when I can, and this is honestly one of the best scopes in my opinion. You'll see me in pretty much all the videos that I do. I'm always using the Monstrum. It's just like overall, honestly, my favorite, favorite scope. Uh, but the stock that we have is the HKE1 stock. And then the grip that we have is the HK Ergo. And this is just a stupid, crazy uh, pistol grip. The uh, Magpul M Lock 4.1 with the RK2 is also very good. And this is just straight meta. This is going to aim as quick and have a very, very low recoil because of that long barrel. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shorter version that will be meta for quick aim as well as uh, speed. And this is the short barrel variant of the meta. For the most part, you're just going to have all ergo here and you're just going to be aiming up quick, 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 quick and just hip firing for the most part. So for this, I do recommend having some sort of laser or some sort of hip fire assistance when you are using this but this is just going to aim up massively quick and will pretty much be one of those guns that you are just running around shooting out as soon as you look around the corner and just winning gunfights for the most part if you feel that i left anything out in this video definitely make sure to leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video definitely make sure to leave a like and if this is your third or fourth time here Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying the content. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.